Today's math strategy video is on multiples and factors. So the first strategy that we're going to um, use in order to talk about multiples and factors is our multiplication chart. So we have a lot of vocabulary here. So the first one is a factor. A factor is just two numbers that are multiplied together. So when you look at a multiplication chart, all these numbers here in red, those are our factors. So for example, two times three. Two and three are my factors. Now we also have another vocabulary word called multiple or multiples. So that is all of these numbers that we have inside of our multiplication chart. The multiples are our products or our answers. So for two times three, six is a multiple. So that means all the numbers down here on the side, once again, those are our factors and all the numbers inside the multiplication chart, those are our multiples. Now we're also gonna be talking about prime and composite numbers. So a prime number is a number that um, only factor pair is itself in one. So I'm gonna use three for example. Three times one is three and one times three is three. Three is a prime number because the only thing that I can multiply to get three is three itself and one. So when I go down here, let me erase this, and I look at three, I find three here and here. I look up and so I've got three and one. It's prime because that's itself and one. Over here, another three. Even though it's shown up twice on my multiplication chart, the factors are still one and three. So it's self and one. So that means it is prime. Another example of a prime number is two. And I look up, I find two here. So it's two, itself and one. And then here, two, which is itself and one. Now, one is actually not prime, but we also have something else called composite. And one actually just doesn't fit into any of these rules. It's just a special case. So now we have composite numbers. And composite numbers mean that they can have multiple factors. So a good example is 12. So when I look at 12 here, I've got three and four. I also have 12 here, so I have four and three. I have 12 here, six and two. I have 12 here, six and two again. I have 12 here for 12 and one. So 12 is a composite number because I can multiply four times three and get 12, or I can multiply two times six and get 12. So it has factors that are, it obviously will always just have one in itself, but it also has other numbers as factors that makes it composite. So these are the vocabulary that you will need to know for this lesson. Okay, next we're gonna talk about using a number line. So you can skip count by fours to find multiples of four. Remember that our multiples are like our answers. They're our products. They're the answers to the multiplication problems. So here, if I skip count, I will go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So four is a multiple of four, because four times one is four. Four times three is 12. And four 
times 5 is 20. All of these are multiples of 4. It also, you can use multiplication, you can use fact families, but anything that you multiply by 4 is going to give you a multiple. So here, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 is a multiple of 4. Um, I can do 4 times 2 is 8. 8 is a multiple. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. That is a multiple. Um, 4, let's do 4 times 10. 40 is a multiple of 4. Let's do 4 times 12. It's 48. 48 is a multiple of 4. And I can even do larger numbers like 100. 400 is a multiple of 4. So you can use a number line and skip count and that will help you see the multiples. Okay, another strategy for finding factors um, is using an array. So here we have a problem that says a company called Parkometer wants to build a parking garage. The garage can hold 24 cars. How many different ways can the garage be organized? So right here we have our 24 cars. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows and one, two, three, four columns. So I have 6 times 4 is 24. 6 and 4 are a factor of 24. How else can I arrange these so that I use all 24 cars, but I can arrange them in a different way, in a different pattern? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I do nines? Whoops. So I can't arrange these in two rows of nine because the cars won't fill up the garage. But maybe, maybe I can do two rows and maybe I can fill them up this way. Here I have two rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I know that two and twelve are a factor pair of 24. Think about, is there another way that we can make 24? What if I had three rows? Hmm, three rows. How many would be in each row if I had three and I wanted to use all 24 cars? Let's see, three rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three and eight is a factor pair for 24. So three and eight are both factors of 24. That is the end of today's strategy video.